G'day, Qantas is Australia's national airline and it used to be revered worldwide. But since COVID, they've gone backwards a big time. Cancelled flights, lost luggage, woeful call centre delays and flight refunds that took forever have tarnished their image. But today I'm on board a Perth to Melbourne flight for the Australian Grand Prix and I'm going to see if Qantas has lifted their game. One of the joys of flying internally in Australia is that you don't necessarily have to provide ID. I uh, had my boarding pass already printed, I got my sticker from the machine over there and just gave that bag to the girl behind the counter and I was straight through. Americans cannot believe that we are that lax, but it's been like that for all of my life and I can't see it changing anytime soon. The unusual thing about this airport is that uh, it's domestic except for Qantas, and they fly their international flights out of here, whereas all the other airlines fly out of the international terminal, which is on the other side of the airport. Now, why is that? Well, Qantas had a run-in with the international terminal many years ago and uh, haven't been able to settle it, so they've come over to the domestic and are running their flights from here. Not that there are a lot of them. I think uh, Qantas themselves only flies maybe a handful of flights each day out of this airport. Different kettle of fish, though, in Sydney or Melbourne. Security was about four minutes getting through and now I'm upstairs in one of two lounges. This is the better of the two lounges and what I love and my kids love are the pizzas that are both cooked and served up in this lounge. Just around the corner is a bar and as you can see here there's a fairly healthy selection of beverages available to you. Is this the only lounge? No, there is another one and uh, this one is the older of the two. It has a better view out over the tarmac but in terms of food, everyone pretty much agrees that the first lounge is the one to go to. And a rare treat for me, they have Southern Comfort and Coke. Here's Dave Portnoy Pizza One Bite Test. So uh, this is the ham and maybe pineapple, I think it's ham. Delicious sauce. It's a thick base, quite doughy but not offensive. I prefer it a little bit crisper but yeah, tell you what, that's better than what you normally get in a lounge. I'm giving that a 7.6. <laughs> now on return here to this lovely lounge, the business lounge, I've been told that this one is for upper levels of frequent flyers, whereas the other one is for pretty much everyone. So if you have the choice, this one that I'm in now is the better choice, but the other one is certainly fine and has the nicer view. Now for those of you travelling Perth to Melbourne or Sydney at any stage, be very careful when you book your flight with Qantas. They have several flights a day and it depends on which flight and which aircraft you get as to what the seat is, particularly in business class. Today I'm on an A330 and we get these suites. Qantas also runs a 787 aircraft with the same 121 seating, but if you happen to get a 737, you only get two seats on one side of the aisle and two on the other. It's a smaller aircraft and it is not a suite. You will not be lying down and be very comfortable. So be very aware of that. And what am I paying for this flight? Well, I'm going points, so there's no cash outlay. Well, a little bit of taxes, but two days out, I could have paid anywhere from 2,600 Australian to 3,900 for a flight direct from Perth to Melbourne. That's about 1,700 to what, 26 or 700 odd US dollars one way. Now that's crazy expensive for what is a three hour, 15 minute flight normally. And certainly if you paid that for a 737 flight, yeah, you would have been dudded majorly. On board in seat 2A on this A330 aircraft, this aircraft is just shy of 16 years of age, 28 business class seats and 243 in the main cabin. This is the same suite that you get when you do the Perth to London direct flight, which is uh, 16, 17 hours. And I've reviewed it before, and what I love is that in the sit-up situation, it's beautiful. In the lie down, it's good, but in the semi-reclining position, it's a shocker because your knees hit this divider thing in front here. There's not much you can do about it. That's just the design of the seat. That is the one downfall. We have Captain McMillan at the helm today, and uh, I must say, this is a comfortable seat. I'm also delighted that there are air vents above us. A lot of the new aircraft don't have them, and it's a pain in the backside. Uh, crew wise, it's very bright and friendly. And I just had one of the senior crew come up and say, Listen, we have a, had a new policy with regards filming on board, which I knew about. 
and the policy is I can't show any other people's faces and uh, I rarely if ever do that anyway but they did it in a really nice manner I've had in the past some people come up they get all quite bombastic but no this was well presented in flight entertainment I'm watching a movie at the moment Qantas has a huge selection of movies so I do rate them highly for that and food wise we're going to get dinner very shortly now I'm not going to do a wine review you probably saw my last one uh, that I did in the airline lounge at Dubai but today they're serving this bubbly it's an Adelaide Hills Lois by the Lane and it is delightful if you have a, an educated palate you'll pick up citrus wildflower and crunchy apple an hour into the flight meal time started off with a little salad with some lovely balsamic vinaigrette then I picked the prawns with some rice and some beans. The sauce wasn't too spicy, but I just felt it lacked any real flavor. And there's also some crackers, some beautiful chinas, and some chocolate, along with some beautiful sourdough bread and some Australian butter. Well, folks, that was dinner, and uh, I'd probably give the, the salad 7 to 8 out of 10. The prawns, yeah, I'll go with the 7 out of 10 for that, and the chop that was excellent. Well, that was a fantastic flight. So I'm delighted that the in-flight service is spectacular. Where Qantas still needs to work on their service levels is in their call centres. If you get the South African call centre, it has been a nightmare. Lengthy waits, poor attitudes, and just it takes forever for them to solve a problem. A lot of the problems stem from their management, and I think they are now starting to listen to customers a bit more. Now, it's uh, collect the luggage and then head off uh, in a 30 minute taxi ride to Malvern. And then tomorrow I'll take you and show you a little bit of Melbourne um, and talk to you a little bit about Australian food. And of course Australia is renowned for its quality of beef and also the value, and this is one of the best butcher shops you'll see in Melbourne. This is Victor Churchill. And not only will you get some of the best beef in the world here, there's a restaurant at the back here that you can sit at the bar and eat some of their amazing beef. And directly opposite to Victor Churchill is uh, Rubens, and I've been told I have to try the Reuben sandwich. Hello. Hello. I've been told I have to try a Reuben sandwich. Okay, cool. Let's have a crack at that. No problem. Hello, mate. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Make a way. We pickle it ourselves in-house, and then we rub it with our own spice rub, and then we smoke it in-house in as well for 14 hours overnight. Melbourne has a sensational coffee culture and there's lots of local streets with shops either side and coffee shops and eateries. It's just uh, completely different to where I come from in Perth. And my niece has just said, don't come home before you go to the Piccolo Panini Bar. Hi. What do I need to get from the Piccolo Panini Bar? Get the cotoletta. Hello. I've been told to ask for a cotoletta. Yeah. Is that the go? That's the go. Right. Do you want to be in my video? Trevor Artis will be in the video. He's the... Tell us, what have I ordered? What have you ordered? That's intimidating. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a big camera. That's a piece of equipment. Yeah, we don't muck about here. You've ordered a chicken schnitzel. Traditionally, it just comes with rocket, pickled onion, and salsa verde on the schnitzel. Yeah. If you want to do it properly, we're going to put roasted peppers and a little bit of chili oil on it. That's our biggest seller. This could be the turning point of your chili, chili eating career. You make it and I'll eat it. That's, that's usually right. the way it goes. Okay, let's go. So we start off with our rocket, balsamic dress, bit of oil, bit of salt, pickled onion, house pickled, roasted peppers. Now normally I'd taste these sandwiches, but I've already eaten, so I've roped in my niece to try them. This is India. Hello. Right, fire away. Reuben first. There's been lots of hype about this. Mmm. Oh wow. That is excellent. That meat's so tender. Right, I've got my number in my head, so after three we'll both say... Okay. One, two, three. 8.5. 7.4. There you go. Okay, you rate it higher than okay. me. Okay. Maybe I'm just not a fan of that type of meat. But look, it's glorious. And that one was 
twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars. Mm -hmm. And this one is twenty, okay. from the very colourful gentleman at Piccolo Panini oh Bar. Oh my God, they were on fire, right? those boys. They're good. <laughs> okay, so this is the chicken cotoletta with you added the pickled I, veggies whatever he and said I had. the chili. Oh. oh, that nice crispy bit. That's so good. Okay, one, two, three. Nine. Seven point five. <laughs> I think that's not my typical taste. I don't like pickles and chili. Oh, I stuff. love this. But both of these sandwiches get rave reviews in Melbourne. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for a place to eat, either of these I think would satisfy you. And with that said, uh, I've got more work to do. So I'm going to say, please like this video, subscribe and become a member. If you have a couple of extra dollars in your pocket. And for a whole lot of extra content, have a look here. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. Oh shit! Really <laughs> fell over. Now it would be good if you could eat both of those in the one sitting. <laughs>